हेलो एवरीवन नाउ वी विल सी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिमेट्रिक की एग्रीमेंट सिमेट्रिक की इज नथिंग बट द कॉमन की शेयर्ड बिटवीन बोथ सेंडर एंड रिसीवर सो दैट दे कैन सेंड एंड रिसीव मैसेजेस हियर वी आर अज्यूमिंग दैट एलिस इज सेंडर एंड बॉब इज रिसीवर बोथ कैन क्रिएट अ सेशन की बिटवीन दमसेल्व विदाउट यूजिंग द के डी सी के डी सी इज की डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सेंटर This method of uh, creating the session key without using KDC is referred to as symmetric key agreement. Now let us see what are the different methods which we can use to create the symmetric key. The first method for creating the symmetric key is Diffie-Hellman protocol. Here both the parties are creating a session key without KDC and the steps to create this symmetric key is first alice as i have told you alice is sender alice is choosing a large random number x and this x should be somewhere between 0 and p minus 1 and calculate the value of r1 by using formula g to the power x mod p similarly bob bob is the receiver is again choosing another large random number y Again, this y should be between zero and p minus one, and calculate the value of r two by using the formula g to the power y mod p. Then comes Alice is going to send the value of r one whatever she has calculated to Bob, and Bob is going to send the value of r two to Alice. Now Alice is going to calculate the value of k. K is the symmetric key value. By using the value sent by Bob, that is R two to the power x mod p. Similarly, Bob is going to calculate the symmetric key R one to the power y mod p. Remember, both the keys, the value of key should be same for both Alice and Bob. Then only we can say that it is a common symmetric key. Now let us see the same concept with the help of example. Okay, now here I have assumed that the value of g is equals to seven and value of p is equals to twenty three, and Alice is choosing the value of x as three, which is uh, greater than zero and less than p minus one. P minus one is nothing but twenty three minus one, that is twenty two. Now we are supposed to calculate the value of r one by using the formula g to the power x mod p. So here I'll write the value of g is seven. To the power x, x is nothing but three mod p is nothing but twenty three. Okay, so seven to the power three is nothing but three forty three mod twenty three, which is going to give you the value of R one as twenty one. Okay, then in the second step, Bob is choosing another random number. Where I am taking value of y as six. This six is greater than zero and less than p minus one. Now let us calculate the value of r two by using the formula g to the power y mod p. So r two g is nothing but seven. Y we have taken it as six mod twenty three. Okay, so seven to the power six is nothing but double one seven six four nine mod twenty three. So here I am getting the remainder as four. Okay, you can calculate and check out. You will get the remainder as four. After obtaining the value of R one and R two, Alice is going to send the value of R one to Bob, and Bob is going to send the value of R two to Alice. Okay, so once the Alice is getting the value of R one, sorry R two, she uh, she is going to calculate the value of K. Now here, as I have told you, K is The symmetric key value. Now let us see. R two is nothing but four, and the value of x we have assumed it as three mod twenty three. So four to the power three is nothing but sixty four mod twenty three, which is nothing but eighteen. Okay. Similarly, Bob is also going to calculate the value of k by using the formula R one to the power y mod p. R one Is sent by Alice, which is nothing but twenty one, and value of y we have assumed it as six mod twenty three. Twenty one to the power six is nothing but eight five seven double six one two one mod 
ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके सो ओवरऑल वी आर गेटिंग द रिजल्ट एज एटीन नाउ हियर यू कैन सी द वैल्यू ऑप्टेन बाय एलिस इज ऑल्सो एटीन एंड वैल्यू ऑप्टेन बाय बॉब इज ऑल्सो एटीन सो दिस इज द कॉमन की वैल्यू विच हेज बीन शेयर्ड बिटवीन एलिस एंड बॉब बाय यूजिंग डेफी हेलमेन प्रोटोकॉल remember here the value of x and y i have taken it as very small so that i can show you the example but in the real time these values should be uh, large random numbers only okay after seeing the example of uh, obtaining the symmetric key by using defi hellman protocol now let us see the second way of finding the symmetric key agreement so this is station to station key agreement now here this particular method is going to use digital signature with public key certificate so now let us see what are the steps used in this station to station key agreement first step is once the value of r1 is found alice is going to send the value of r1 to bob and after the calculation of value of r2 and session key bob is concatenating alice's id r1 and r2 and then bob is signing the result with his private key bob now sends the value of r2 the signature and his own public key certificate to alice on receiving all these things uh, alice is going to calculate the session key if the bob sign is verified alice is going to concatenate bob's id the value of r1 and r2 and sign the result with her private key and send it to bob if the alice signature is verified bob is going to keep the session key thank you